Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers. Welcome newcomers. I hope you like what you see and if so, be part of this journey with us, one big family. Thank you for your loving support, all your beautiful comments, your suggestions, your opinions. And I would like to invite you to come and join us, the beautiful queens in my private crochet group. You're more than welcome to come, be a member as long as you have a profile. You could also follow me on my crochet page on Facebook, of course, we're talking about, and Instagram or TikTok, or if you're stuck on a pattern, you could always message me faster, either through the page or my group or Instagram message or TikTok message, and I can help you out. If you haven't subscribed for the newcomers, I hope you do so. I hope you enjoy the channel and become a member uh, of the family with us. By hitting that subscription, you know everything is free. We work hard every day to put out these beautiful patterns for you guys. Uh, we don't ask of anything in return except thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Share if you can. Sharing is caring. And bring your friends and family along. Okay, so for most of the time, I use a four-ply 100% cotton thread. These are Portugal threads. Um, they're called Ladybug. They're 100 grams a ball. Uh, four-ply, similar to Aunt Lydia, Aunt Lydia number three. Aunt Lydia number three is a little bit thicker, so obviously your patterns become bigger. The collars don't go by name here. They go by number. Let's say this canary yellow is number 15. This purple, because of course there's so many different purples, right? Number 38. So for the most part, I use a 2.75 hook, a small one to tuck in loose ends, of course, and a pair of scissors. People, please, I know sometimes I'm in my bubble and I'm a fast crocheter and I seem to forget that I am recording and some of you are way much slower than I am. And I sincerely apologize for that. I mean, I get beat up from that all the time, like in most of my videos, I believe. I try my best, and I'm still working very hard on it to slow down for you guys. For those reasons, I say, you know, you could always slow down the video. I know sometimes it, it's a little bit tricky, sometimes even slowing down. Some of you are a little bit slower. It's hard even slowing down for you guys, and I do apologize for that. Um... But what can I say? I do have this problem of fast crocheting. I think everything in my life is just fast. Everything runs fast. You know, I'm always on the go. But um, I, I am trying very hard to slow it down. I think I've improved quite a bit, or at least I'm trying my best. Uh, there's no need for um, really rude comments on that. Uh, whatever doesn't fit you, move on to the next one. Sometimes certain patterns are not made for us, including myself. You can't just, you know, beat up the creator, whoever she is or he is, just because it's not working out for you. There's much worse things in life than treating people rudely. Um, please, like, be kind. Um, People really work hard to get these things out there. And sometimes, you know, it, it, like I said, you know, we get on our bubbles, we make mistakes, we, we, we crochet fast, and some get bored because it's too slow. I mean, you know, it is what it is. Um, so I thank you for being patient with me on that. For those that, you know, most of you are patient with it, there's still a few here and there that are quite impolite and very rude and very uh, demanding and uh, very, uh, I need this and I want that instead of hello and excuse me and may I or can I please and thank you. I mean, politeness goes a long way. Uh, this type of education doesn't come from school. It comes from your crib. So uh, I owe you nothing or any other creator does not owe you anything. So don't demand and force things out of us because that's not happening. What is going to happen is for that type of rudeness, you will be definitely blocked from the channel. And that's what's going on at this point, blocking the rudeness out of my life and out of the channel and everybody else's uh, uh, life here as a member of the, the uh, channel, okay, or in the group same issue okay we have zero tolerance for that we're here as mothers of earth men are providers women are mothers 
they teach, they're patient, they're caring, they're loving. So please be kind. Kindness goes a long way, okay? We're going to get started, everybody. And thank you so much for your patience and for your loving support, like I've mentioned, and for your beautiful comments. Thank you. God bless you. Okay, everyone, so we're going to create another round doily, and I'm going to do it in red because you can use it for Christmas, so it gives you that vibe. I'm going to use a small hook to tuck in loose ends, 2.75 hook to work with, of course, and a pair of scissors. It's going to be fast, easy. It's a small doily, but it's gorgeous. I'm sure you're going to love it. Uh, it's one of my old doilies that I had created years ago, so I'm just bringing quite a bit of the old patterns back for you guys. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you don't know of seeing um, some of these patterns. Uh, I've created myself, designed myself, a lot of them, and a lot of them I took ideas from neighbors, friends, switched it up into my own thing. So let's get started. Uh, for ply, 100% cotton thread, similar to Aunt Lydia number three. If you're using Aunt Lydia number three cotton, your pattern will be bigger than mine. Mine's a little bit thinner, okay? So this next pattern that I'm going to create will be named Betty after one of my big followers on YouTube, Miss Betty Sanders. This is in your honor, my dear. Thank you so much for being such a big support. And I hug you and I love you and send you much blessings. So this pattern is in your name. Thank you so much, Miss Betty Sanders. Okay, I send you much, much hugs and kisses. So I'm going to create that magic circle. Bring in my string in that circle and secure it with a slip stitch. If you can't do the magic circle, then you can do a six to eight chain, depending upon your tension. Inside of this magic circle, I'm gonna come back in, do my single and two chain. And I'm going to continue to do double crochets inside of this circle. I'm going to do 32 double crochets. So we don't want the circle too tiny because then you'll have a hard time fitting in if you're doing the chains. I suggest probably do eight chain. Uh, it's best, okay, 32. So I've done my 32 double crochet and I've left my space enough in here so it doesn't crumple up. Once I'm further up, then I can pull the tension on it. But for now, I'm not going to because then it's going to start waving like an ocean. So I'm going to come back in, the same one, starting off my first double crochet, single, two chain. So now I'm going to build groups of four, double crochet, and one chain space between them. So I have my four double crochets already. That's included with my single and two chain. One chain space coming into the next stitch. So there is no space between stitches, only between groups. So I'm gonna to continue to build four, double crochet, one chain space, next stitch. Okay, we're gonna do this all the way around. This is row two. It's always best that you put your closed caption on if you don't understand or see the stitch, then you can read by pausing, taking notes. I'll meet you at the end. So I've completed eight groups of four double crochet of one chain space between them. So I'm gonna come back in after I've closed my slip stitch with my single doing my first double crochet into the next space. So we're going to do the increase inside of that one chain space. Okay, so doing the four double crochet from where we have the four double crochet and two inside of the chain space. One chain, or actually I'm gonna do two chain just to give it a difference so I can start opening up and continue again with your four double crochets. I'm 
and two inside of the chain space. So that's our increase. So we'll have six double crochets on this row. Two chain, and again into the next one. And continue on to do your four double crochets and your two double crochets inside of the chain space. Just trying to hide this little knot that I had here. Four and two inside of the chain space. Remembering that if you're using thicker um, thread, your patterns are bigger. If you're using number 10 and later, your patterns are smaller, obviously, okay? So this is row three. Okay, everyone, going into row four. Again, after I've closed with slip stitch, I'm coming and doing my single two chain, one double crochet per stitch, and inside of my two chain space, we're doing an increase again of two double crochet. So we should have eight double crochet total on row four. Okay, so we started with four, we did the increase with two, we have six. Then we have the six increase with two, we have eight. Two chain space, and again, repeat the same thing. I'm going to do this until I have six rows of these created, that means, up until my seventh row. Okay, so I have three. I'm going to do three more, always an increase of two. Okay, so total uh, seven rows. So I'll come back to you at the end of my seventh row. That's first, second, third, fourth. Fifth, six, seven. So at the end of my seven, there's always an increase on the next three rows also. That means it's six rows of these increases. Okay? There's no point of keep recording the same thing over and over when it's just the increase inside of the two chain space. So I'm each at the end of row seven. Okay, everyone. So I completed row seven. I'm going to do the walk, as I call it, to the next double crochet. I'm going to do a single, but you can do a slip stitch if you're used to doing your three chain double crochet. So we're not going to work on the first double crochet or the last. We're going to start to decrease. So I'm doing one per stitch. So on row seven, you're supposed to have uh, 14 double crochet. Since we're decreasing now, we're going to have 12. Neighbor's chicken is going wild. There's never a dull moment in this place. Never. Okay, so... Not working the first, and I'm not working the last two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Doing my twelve double crochets, I'm going to do my two chain. I'm going to come in the center of that two chain with double crochet. So I'm building two little squares, two chains, skipping the first, going into the second double crochet, and creating my twelve double crochets. We're going to repeat this all the way around the same way, remembering um, that you have to skip that first and not work the last. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I've completed row 8, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Not working the last double crochet and not working the first two chain space, double crochet in the center of that two chain and two chain space again. So we're going to continue to decrease going over to the next double crochet. I'm doing my single and my one uh, two chain. Now we should have 10 double crochets on this row because we are 
decreasing by two. Not working the first nor the last double crochet. I'm going to do one chain space. I'm coming inside of the first block here and creating a shell. Three double crochet, two chain, and three more double crochet. Going into my next one, creating that shell again. Three double crochet, two chain, and three more double crochet. One chain space, skip the first double crochet into the second. Create your 10 double crochets. We're going to repeat this all the way around the same way. Ten double crochet, not working the first nor the last one chain space, shell. Shell again, two chains between the double crochet. One's a chain, skip the first and continue on. This is row nine on each at the end. Okay, everyone going into row ten. Doing the walk over. Single, two chain. My first double crochet, still continuing to do the decrease. Not working on that first double crochet, nor the last. So you should have eight double crochets now. I'm going to do one chain space coming in where that shell is. If you need to do a two chain space, go ahead. Doing a shell. Two chain. Doing a shell again. So shell over shell. One chain. Skipping that first double crochet going into the second. And doing my eight double crochets. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, going to row eleven. Doing a walk over to the next double crochet. We're continuing to decrease. So on this row 11, you should have six double crochets. Chain two. Coming in the shell with shell. Three double crochet, two chain, three double crochet, chain two in the center, double crochet. So we're going to increase on the squares here now and shell over shell. 
So we're just going to repeat this all the way around the same way. So we have two groups of shell. We're going to continue to do them. Next row, we're going to still increase double crochet inside of these loops with two chain space. Okay. Okay, everyone. So on to row 12, which I've started. Of course, here is still the same. And the next row, we'll have two double crochet left. Not doing the first nor the last. So it's a decrease. You should have four double crochets to chain. Continue your shell over shell. Next row will be exactly the same thing. So shell over shell. So row 12 and 13 are basically the same thing. We're decreasing. We'll have two double crochet only. Chain two. We're going to do also on the next row the same thing. Chain two, double crochet inside of the squares chain two and shell over shell. So very simple. I will meet you at the end of row 13 because it's just a repeat of what we're doing. We're decreasing on the motives here and we're increasing on here. Two chain, skip the first double crochet Come in your second and do your four double crochets. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end of row 13. This is row 12. Okay, everyone, so finished row 13, going into row 14. I'm going to have to do the walk all the way to the shell with a slip stitch. Now we don't want to tighten too much because we don't want the pattern to pull. So we're going to go right into the center of our shell with shell. I'm going to do a single two chain. doing the shell over shell. We're going to do the increase of our little blocks. So two chain and your double crochet. On this row, you should have five little blocks. This is row 14 and shell over shell. I'm going to do a six chain, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Shell over shell. We're gonna repeat this all the way around the same way. Two chain and continue your little blocks again, your five blocks. And shell over shell.
We've been having a lot of fires here in the island. Somebody had set fire to the forest, a young kid or something like that. So it's been really dramatic for the past two days. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, shell over shell and six chain. Okay, I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, I want to show you in case sometimes whatever pattern you're working on doesn't necessarily mean it has to be this one. It could be anybody. Let's say you did a shell and on the previous row, you forgot to make the double crochet. So I have only two double crochet here. There's no need to take the pattern down. Okay, it's little tricks you can go through. So when you're going to do your shell, you have the two here. So we're missing one. Do a triple. Come in. Stretch. Take out only once. And then come in the center of that shell. And complete your double crochet. So now you got your complete shell and your double crochet. Okay? And then continue from there. So you don't have to take it down. A lot of times people take rows down for no reason because they don't know these little tricks. Some of you that have uh, been following me for a while already know, but there's always newcomers and welcome newcomers, um, and they don't know. So we keep showing and teaching them, right? So very simple. It's a way to to cut time of taking everything now and redoing because of one double crochet, correct? When you have it in there and the problem is resolved. Okay, everyone, going into row 15. So I've closed in after doing my sixth chain. I'm going to do the walk again into the center of that shell. And I'm going to do a single. Okay, everyone, going into row 15. So I've closed in with slip stitch. I did the walk, single. One, two, for my double crochet. One, two, three, chain. Coming in, doing my double crochet. Two chain, double crochet. Two chain, double crochet. Two chain, double crochet. Two chain, double crochet. One, two, three. So three chain is only at the beginning and at the end. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six squares. I'm going to do one, two, three chain. I'm going to skip one, two, coming on the third one. If you want, you can go over the loop. I'm going to do a shell of two double crochet, one, two, three, four chain, and two more double crochet. We're going to repeat this all the way around the same way, okay? One, two, three chain, coming in, double crochet, one, two, three chain, the first one, and built that square. One, two, three, ch uh, two chains, sorry. And into the next and continue your squares of two chain until the last one, we do three chain. One, two, three chain, one double crochet in the shell, okay? One, two, three chain, skip one, two, come in the third one and build your shell 
of two, double crochet, one, two, three, four chain, and two more, double crochet, okay? And just repeat now, one, two, three chain, and one double crochet in the shell. Okay, I'll meet you at the end. Okay, you guys, so I finished row 16, I believe. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. No, row 15. What I'm going to do is to start fresh from, so there is no confusion, I'm going to cut my thread here, and I'm going to start inside of that shell. So we don't get confused, especially for beginners. Uh, they might find it a little bit too confusing with the little squares if they're just learning. So we'll start on okay, so we'll start on the shell. I think it makes it easier. So we're going into row 16. Just trying to make it easier for everyone. So I'm going to start working on any shell, okay? So I'm going to start on this shell here, it doesn't matter where. And inside of this shell, I am going to create five groups of three double crochet. So single to chain, another double crochet, and my third double crochet. Two chain space. Again, three groups of three double crochet, two chain space, and again. So I'll have a total of five groups all together. So I have one, two, three. This will be my fourth, two chain space, and my fifth group of three double crochet. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, two chain space between them. One, two, three chain. I'm skipping this one here, and I'm coming in to the next one. Two chain space. So I have my little block, two chain, two chain, two chain, two chain. So I have one, two, three, four, five blocks of two chain. This does not count as part of these blocks. We're decreasing on these blocks. This is just part of the motive. Three chain, okay? So three chain at the beginning. We're also skipping this last one. And repeating again those five groups of three double crochet. And pull, pull your groups in two chain space and again continue to do your five groups like this one here and then your three chain you know the rules if your tension is tight do a four chain instead of three jump this one right jump to this one here and create your five blocks of two chain space and then jump the last one okay and continue to do your groups again, like here. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, going into row 17. So I've closed in with slip stitch, did my single, my two chain, into the next one. 
double crochet into the next one double crochet inside of this two chain space I'm going to do three double crochets into the next one double crochet one per stitch and then three inside of the two chain space one per stitch again and three inside of the chain space we're going to do this to all of them the same way all the way to the end now that we've done three dug up double crochet on each stitch and three inside of the of the two chain space let me just have count how many we have there so we have 27 double crochets chain three one two and three skipping that first one here coming into the second one because we are decreasing on the squares so we had five here we should have four now two chain and double crochet per square we skip the first one and we're going to skip the last one so we have one two three four not counting these three chain ones so chain three and we're going to repeat exactly what we did 27 double crochets so one per stitch and three inside of the chain space we're going to repeat this all the way to the end the same way I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, going into row 18. So I've closed in with slip stitch, did three chains. Didn't even bother to do the same one, two chain. I'm going to create four groups of seven double crochet here. So one per stitch. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six and seven one chain space again one two three four five six and seven so i have my second group already we're going to do two more groups So I'm in my last group and I will have to do an increase here of two on the last one to have seven. Okay, so I have four groups of seven double crochet. One, two, three, and four. Increase on the last one or else we'd have only six. We need to have seven. One chain space between the groups. One, two, three chain. Again, we are not doing that first one we're decreasing two chain create your blocks now you should have three blocks that's not including this first one nor the last one three chain and again repeating the same thing if you feel more comfortable of adding your um, double crochet here if you think you're going to forget at the end you can do it two on the same one so two three four five six seven one chain continue to create your seven double crochet so we'll have four groups of seven 
double crochet. I have one, two, three, four, five, one chain space between the groups. six and seven one chain again and continue on okay everyone going into row 19 we are going to start to decrease here on this motive so i'm coming on the second double crochet okay single two chain we're going to do five double crochet so we're not working on the first double crochet and we're not working on the last double crochet so five double crochets two three four five one two chain coming in that one chain space with one double crochet two chain skip the first come into the second and repeat your five double crochets so very simple. So I have my five, two chain, come where we have that one chain space, double crochet, chain two, skip the first, and do your five double crochets again. So we're going to repeat this on the pattern. So I've done my four groups, one, two, three, four, of five double crochet, two chain, and one double crochet in the one chain space. Now you understand why I had to do that increase on the previous row, so we can have the right amount of double crochets. We're going to do, again, chain three. If you need to do a chain four, go ahead. Skipping always that first chain we're uh, decreasing chain two and create your uh, square your little square so you should have now two little squares again going with chain three And uh, skipping the first one, going into the second, and proceed again doing those five double crochets. We're creating those groups again. We are not doing the first nor the last two chain, coming in that one chain space with double crochet. And again, two chain, skip the first into the next one. And we're going to proceed this way all the way around the same way. Okay? So I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, going into row 20. Now, you might notice at this point that the pattern is pulling quite a bit over here, right? If you look at it, it seems like it's pulling. But don't worry about it. Once we finish, I use... You can use whatever you're using, uh, cornstarch, starch, whatever you call it. I use laundry softener with a bit of water. I spray and I stretch it in a flat surface and stretch it well. So example, which I'm not even done to be doing this, but it doesn't matter. And once you, you spray well and you stretch well, it all goes into place. Now, in my case, because I do a lot of, as you can see, it's already pretty, pretty nice and straight. Um, I don't have time to let it dry. So I light steam iron it very quick after I've sprayed it. And it's just perfect. So once you do that, everything falls right into place. Okay. So going into row 20, I've changed color also. I had taken that row down, row 19. And I've changed it just to sparkle it up a little bit more. So I'm coming into the next, so we're avoiding again doing the first and the last. Now, 
we're going to have to uh, build groups of three double crochet. We're also decreasing on the motives here. Okay, so three double crochet. Two chain and creating in that two chain space double crochet. Two chain, next space, double crochet. So we'll have um, three little squares and skip the first double crochet. Create again those three uh, double crochet groups. Chain two again into the square with double crochet, chain two into the next one, chain two in to the second double crochet because we are not working the first and we're not working the last. Okay. So we have three double crochet groups and three little squares. Chain three, if you need to do a chain four, go ahead. Some people have tighter tension, so skipping always that first one. I should have one square left on the decrease on the squares. One, two, three. Again, skipping that first one, coming into the second, and redo my groups of three double crochet. Two chain into the first square, double crochet, two chain into the second, double crochet. Mind to tell you, even though when you put that uh, softener, it smells so good. And, you know, if you're giving it as gifts, nicely wrapped up with a nice smell, it's just wonderful. This makes perfect gifts for Christmas with a nice ribbon, nice white or red ribbon. Okay, so we're just going to repeat what we did. Nothing else to it here. We're almost done. I think we have two, two or three rows left and we're done. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, you guys, row 20. T1, I'm going to come in the center, single, one, two, three, actually two for the double crochet, and then one, two, three. I'm going to come on my third one. And I'm going to do peacock. Coming in that first space again. Maybe if I can get it fixed a little bit. One, two, three. And pick up into the next one. So this is my last row. One, two, three. Pick up. One, two, three. Pick up. I said there was one or two rows left. I hadn't realized that I was at the end. Coming into the middle one, remember we have that group, we're still decreasing. One, two, three. So that's all it is, it's just double crochet the P cut, okay? Into the first space. One, two, three. P cut into the next space. One, two, 
whoops, going into the middle of the three double crochets. One, two, three. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This was a pleasure. It's been many years I haven't created this piece. So it's been a lot of fun redoing it again. Brings back old memories, of course. Not not that I'm old. I'm old people, you know. Um, time. Time flies, I guess, right? So let me know what you think about this creation. So there's nothing to it. You're just doing one double crochet per, per space. And then, you know, you're inside of that three. And then one, two, three. We're coming into the last space here. Remember the last space? And one, two, three and peacock okay one two three and then to the middle of the next one actually i would like this peacock to be centered here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to close it as a slip stitch i think it's best like that okay I think it's better and then I'm gonna come back in with a slip stitch on that and then do one two three but you can do whatever way you feel like you know I just like to have it like more centered on there one two and three and again you start your peacocks because now we're in the middle of all of the other little blocks again so I will have it in display at the end I'll do a little video and the pictures once I blocked it so you can see what a beautiful little piece it became okay and uh, the measurements thank you everyone until next time bye bye God bless. Please, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video. Okay.